classic mistake that I often see a lot of managers, leaders, you know, IT professionals, people who have their families to support, but at the same time they have a job from where they get all the things. Um, I see that they have a big challenge and that challenge is they always have this desire and subconscious goal to beg people for impressing them. And honestly, that's actually a very poor strategy in the long term because even if you, you know, lick the ass and do the office politics and impress a few people, in the long term, that does not give you respect. You don't get respect, you earn respect, right? So one example I always like to give is the example of uh, having relationships in your younger days. You know, you remember your younger days when you were in college? I remember my days when I was in college. The one thing was that I was not really a great student in the college, especially because at that time, during that age time, you know, you, that age group is pretty, pretty funny. I really did not have a lot of focus on my studies. Um, and I really was not very impressive with people because if you know my story, you know that I came from a Bengali medium government school. So growing up, I did not have a lot of confidence and, and communication skills. But one thing I always applied is I knew how to connect with people, like especially ladies. I knew how to connect with them. In fact, uh, there was this one lady, I will not, not tell her name. Uh, she was pretty young. She was this uh, teacher in our in our college, and she was like every student's dream. You know what I'm talking about? That teacher that we. I mean, sometimes like you see the stories like in movies, but it really happened in my real life. And you know, she was pretty awesome looking. She was really confident, and I remember every student wanted to talk to her. Every student wanted to talk to her and I mean there were a few students that did not want to talk to anybody and they did not talk to her But other than that every guy student wanted to talk to her and every girl student Was jealous of her and I remember there was this time that she um, Had a conversation with me and I had a conversation with them. I think I was submitting a project or something and She was getting out of the teachers room and she said, uh, are you here for something? I said, yeah, I'm here for somebody else, uh, not for you, ma'am. And I just walked away, you know, not in a very disrespectful manner, but it was, I did not give her any much attention that she was accustomed to getting. And I remember um, about two to three months later on, I really had uh, a pretty bad uh, situation where I had low attendance and she was the person who could save me. And I remember writing her an email and telling her, See, many people would beg in this situation, right? That I would beg, yo, oh, my, please save me. I said, if you give me a chance to, um, you know, make up for my attendance, I will buy you an ice cream of your favorite flavor today that we can both have. Next day in the afternoon, she comes to the classroom, um, does the class, and in the end says, can I speak to you, Bishal, at the end? I said, sure. I go out, and I was like nervous. What is she going to say? And she says, uh, where is my ice cream? Bam, see? See, that's, that's how, you, how you handle situations. You don't beg, you don't do just like everybody else. I mean, anybody else in my situation would beg to her, ma'am, you are awesome, please, please. And what I did, even though she was hot and really awesome uh, looking, well, I just played my part. I understood that there is nothing that I, um, that I have to feel inferior about, and I did that. And that was my, one of my first experiences about understanding how this real world authority works. I mean, when you start chasing people, people run away from you. When you create boundary and when you feel from the inside, this is not an acting, when you feel from the inside how valuable you really are, that's when people understand your real value. That's when people say, hey, where is my ice cream? That's when the manager comes and says, hey, uh, would you take me to a treat? Uh, because I'm giving you that promotion. That's when your wife comes and says, Honey, you are my tiger. You are my tiger, right? If you want to be that exceptional personality, I want you to come to one of our programs. Now, here's why I say I want you. Because I don't know if I'm talking to you or somebody else. But I, I pretty much 
am world class at helping people become confident from the inside and then showcase in the outside. However, probably you might not be a great fit for our program because I don't know. I don't want you to take it personally. I don't want you to take it in an insulting manner. I mean, if you do, that's completely your choice and you're right and I respect that. But the reason I say that you might not be a great candidate for our program is because our programs are not for everybody. It, it takes a certain kind of person. I mean, you must be serious about improving your life. You must be serious about being a confident speaker you must be serious enough not to chase people if your strategy is that Bishal I have 15 years of experience or 10 or 25 doesn't matter or 5 Bishal I have some years of experience and now all I want to do is I want to avoid presentations I want to just um, delegate it to somebody else I just want to chase for promotions if that's your strategy I love you but I don't want you in my circle the kind of people that I do help are people who are real men and women. People who say, you know what, I'm done. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of where I am and I want to go to the next level in my confidence, in my happiness and in my promotion. So if that's you, um, reach out to one of my team members. You can find their phone number somewhere in the daily email that we send out or maybe in this, in the, wherever you're listening to this video, watching the video. I want you to reach out to one of our team members and honestly, I'll tell you right now, when you call us, you will see that many of our team members will not accept you in our program in the beginning. Why? Because we understand our value. See, we love you, but we never want to chase you. So if you can't prove your value to us, honestly, that's fine. You can listen to my videos, watch my videos, read my books. You can see me on big stages. You can follow me. You can come for an autograph, but you can't join one of my courses. If you want to join one of our courses, you must, we need to call our team members, let them know why you are a right fit for our program. If you can't even answer that question when we ask you why should you be a great candidate for our program if you can't answer that in that case my friend you have a lot of work to do in life before you even apply for one of our programs so I want to see you I want to see you winning um, if you qualify for one of our programs I want to see you in the seat where I can share with you my secret strategies on overcoming stage fear becoming a confident speaker so you can ramp up your game and really transform your speaking okay I want you I want you to really go to the next level I want you to get that promotion I want you to become that authority in your industry I want you to make 10 times more money than you're making right now now you might think Vishal that's not possible fuck yes that's possible it's not possible for you because so far you did not have the right mentor for yourself. The people that have helped you so far probably have helped you good, but then have not helped you go to the next level. If you want to go to the next level, you need the next level mentor. That's why people come to me. If you want an ordinary result, go to an ordinary mentor. If you want extraordinary result, give us a call. We'll talk to you. Bishal Sarkar here, always reminding you that confidence is not about perfection. It's all about connection.